Hi guys, how's it going? This is Enzyme Art TV, and uh, we're uploading a day late. Sorry about that. I'm gonna start uploading every Friday. This is a small segment that we call Under the Microscope. This is where we take a small part of a previous video and we kind of go in depth on it. Today we're gonna go into how to draw the dragon horns. And I have two different ways I go over it. So let's get into it. So let's get started on the horns. So when you're drawing the horns, I, got, I always think about it in two distinct ways. I think about the shape of the horn and the texture. Those two things are the first things to pop in my mind. The shape is important because of the obvious. You know, what is it going to be curved, straight, uh, jaggedy? And I'm going to go over that right now. Like with everything else, start thinking through what the horns are going to be used for. Uh, usually, I'll, I'll narrow it down for you. It's either going to be for protection and kind of an offensive mechanism, or it's going to be for mating. So they'll be a little bit more ornamental when you have that kind of thing going on. So let's start on the horn. When I start drawing the horn, I start with a simple shape, the outline first. And I'm going to start with a smooth textured kind. When I'm drawing this, I am going to throw in, just like in the other videos, I'm going to think of the primary light source coming from above, hitting the top surface of the horn, and then having some of that, some of that light bounce off its back, you know, or the ground even, and it'll bounce back up into the lower part of the horn. But it won't be as bright. So you got kind of this light, dark light. Because you have a light source coming from above and from below, it's going to form something called a core shadow, and we did talk about this before. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you though is the size of the core's shadow does reflect the size of the surface it's on. So when you get to the bottom of the horn here where it's kind of bigger, it's going to taper out. You know, the core shadow will be bigger toward the bottom of the horn because it's larger. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to throw a value throughout the entire horn and that kind of makes it a little bit more distinct. You know, also the horns tend to be a little darker. You know, I guess bull horns tend to be light, but dragon horns I've seen tend to be a lot darker. So I'm gonna throw a value over the entire, the entire horn itself, and I'm gonna pull out a highlight, you know, with my eraser. I'm using a colored pencil right now, if you want to know, but it doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, and I'm using a kneaded eraser. So with this other type of horn I see a lot is I see kind of more of a jaggedy, swirly uh, kind of horn. It almost looks like it, there's chambers on it, you know. I want to draw a generic chambered horn, and to do that I kind of think of it as one, like, looks like one little monster eating another. It looks like they're connected to each other, to each other's back ends, and that's what I'm going to think of it as. And I'm going to think of them as complete cubes, as shapes stuck together. And when I do that, it makes it so much easier. It just simplifies the entire process all, all together. What I've done is I've tried to narrow down every kind of horn into two little uh, distinct categories. The, uh, the kind of smooth horn and the kind of jaggedy horn, you know what I mean? There's two different types. Uh, they both belong to each different kinds. Uh, I would say definitely think about what they're used for and on what kind of creature because like I said in the other videos uh, the character of the dragon will reflect in his horns you know are they battle damaged you know things like that here's uh, some jagged edges to put into this horn right here like as if it's been you know through lots of battles and things like that you know your dragon's been places especially if it's an adult so anyways these are the two kinds of horns If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. We're going to be uploading every Friday. Stay creative.